Well, our Garmin's been acting up. It's taking forever to get satellite acquisition. So we bought a new one. That one's about four years old, so hopefully this new 943 XSV is gonna be plug and play. We'll find out. So, you just turned it on. What happened? knows exactly where we're at. Which is a big bonus from the last one, right? Yeah. So the boat got a new toy and you got something that you gotta learn. Yeah. It's all touch screen. Awesome. <laughs> well have some fun. What are you doing? Going up. We getting ready to go? Prepping the boat. It's 40, what was it? 50. 54 degrees inside the boat. <coughs> well, it's 54 degrees inside the boat. And talking to our friends, they're all telling us how cold it's where they're at. But it ain't that cold in their house. <laughs> huh? That's what we've been with us. So last night was our first night on anchor. We left the dock yesterday. Uh, we're at this nice little sandbar today, although it's freezing, so I didn't get in the water and he was only in the water for a few minutes. We are making our way down to Venice. We're headed south. Hopefully it gets warmer that direction. <laughs> at least a little bit. <laughs> Coming into Boca Grand Pass. This is Boca Grand on the north side. And then Caya Costa on the south side. We're gonna go just inside of the uh, channel through this cut and to the right and they're gonna be Kea Costa. We're gonna get in there and show you a new anchorage. So here's the anchorage. This is Pelican Bay. Crowded, but not too much. You can see there's plenty of, an plenty of anchoring room for multiple boats. So if you come in here and it looks like you don't have enough room, now you know you got enough room. So what are we doing tonight? We're just sitting on the front of the boat. Watching the sun go down. Miss Kelly's having herself an adult beverage. It's cocktail hour, guys. Well, it was funny today because we actually had nothing to do and nowhere to be. It hasn't been that way for the last six months, seven, seven months. Six seven months. It was just kind of relaxing day to do that. But I'm saying when I got back to the boat and I was sitting there and said, what do you want to do? I said, I don't know. He says, it was actually the first, we caught ourselves the first time actually having nothing we had to do. Like, like every day it's like, oh, we got to do this today. Oh, we got to make sure this happens. Oh, we got to mail this. We got to email that. We got to call those people. We didn't have to do anything and we were lost. <laughs> we were just lost. So I took a nap. And I started my book that I was supposed to read in the summer. My summer book. Six months ago. So now it's my winter book. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're chilling. Chillaxing, I call it. Chillaxing. Yeah. Making our way south because it's still cold. You see, we're still wearing our uniform. Y'all come join us. Yeah. Hey, check this out. The horse comp. Yeah, we're picking up the trash. We're anchored at Kay Calista Park in Pelican Bay. Two nights. Tonight will be our second night. We just started our fourth year on the boat. 
our fourth, fourth cruising season. We had uh, six months to deal with some family issues. And um, this is one of our, what, second stop? Yeah. Third stop? Third stop. Third stop. Uh, Kea Costa Park. One of our favorites. Dolphins coming up here. There they are. Hey, nice. <laughs> tell us your hair is all messed up. Not because I don't have to. Tell us where we're at. We just anchored in uh, Bimini Basin in Cape Pearl. So now the little hidey hole. This is a lot like um, Smokehouse Bay in, in um, Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. This is a lot like uh, Smokehouse Bay in Marco. We're gonna check it out today and see what we get across the street. I know there's a Circle K. Looks like right there. Some friends told us about it. We're gonna check it out and see if we can get fuel, see if we can get food, see if we can get trash. I wanna let you guys know. So we had to come inside because it was blustery. It was, yeah, very blustery outside. Bimini Bay. Yes, we came to visit our friends, Galen and Greg. They're the ones that told us about this spot. Um, they live here in, in Cape Coral. Uh, awesome couple. Very nice. Awesome couple. Yes. It's the kind of people you want to hang out with when you're on a boat, yes. I'm telling you. And we really hope we get to cruise with them sometime. And they showed us around. Um, they did have a car with them and they drove us around, but everything was within walking distance. But uh, there's a park right there with the dinghy dock. And you can get rid of your trash. As a cruiser, that's one of our biggest things is trash, what do we do with it? So anytime we can get dispose of a bag, we do take advantage of it. We went, there's restaurants, banks are close by, there's a grocery and even a hardware store. So it's all within walking distance of the little anchorage. So check it out if you're on your way down, headed south. This is a really good stop. Uh, it's up to Caloosahatchee a little bit there, but um, definitely worth hanging out. And it's a great, um, now weather stop. Okay, egg McMuffin okay? Yeah, that'd be good. Here we go! This guy is making us some money. We're gonna look out here and see what we're dealing with. So we got a front that came through early this morning. This is part of the bands on it. We're trying to outrun it. We're trying to outrun it down to Marco. Left uh, Cape Coral this morning, about 7.15. Hey guys, this is Factory Bay in Marco Island. We are, we were anchored here last night. There goes a the tourist boat. It's a good place. It's a good place to get fuel. There's a marina over there, Rose Marina. Um, we were here last night, and we're headed to Smokehouse Bay. We'll show you that later today. Factory Bay Anchorage is right off the main channel in Marco Island. It has great holding for your deep draft boats. There's a, a marina, Rose Marina, where you can get fuel, and it is a perfect spot if you just need to stay for the night. Hey everyone! Hey everyone! Hello! Hello! That's what it feels like. Hello! Look at the head over there. Do you know why I said it? Let me see that. <clears throat> hey guys, we are sitting, we are in Marco Island, sitting in Smokehouse Bay. Let's take a look at it. So this is a great anchorage uh, to the right of the big fancy yacht place. <laughs> There's a little small bridge. You go under there and you can dingy up to Winn Dixie. You can dingy up to the grocery store. You can dingy up to the grocery store. So over that way, under the bridge, 
You can dinghy up to the grocery store. They've got a dinghy dock right beside the store, and you can even push your grocery carts right back to the dock. Today we walked to the bank, we walked to West Marine, and the pharmacy. So everything's about half a mile. There's a laundry not too far either. So you're walking distance from basically from downtown, and just about anything you need is there from from West Marines, Publix, Wal Walgreens, um, CVS, CVS uh, West Marines, several banks. Yeah. So there are some nice restaurants over there. Nice restaurants. Everything that you want at home is out here, and you can walk to it. And tomorrow's Wednesday. They have a farmers market in the park that's right across the street from the grocery store over there. Okay. This is good, Lynch. So, what is this, our fifth baker? Oh, you would ask. Uh, I think like five. I think five. Um, he left nine days ago. Nine days ago. And we're sitting here in a nice little bay, which is right south of Goodland. We got open water to the Gulf there. We came around the backside of Marco. There's two bridges. Both of them are 53 feet at high tide. So if you got a Gemini, it's a great trip. <laughs> Love our boat. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna make our jump tomorrow. Uh, we're open water right there to the Gulf. We'll be shoving off about 4 a.m. You said five. Huh? You change your mind? I'll probably get up at four, we're leaving. Okay. Um, and hopefully make it before, the, before it gets dark. Um, I like coming to the south of Goodland because it gives us about an hour and a half off our trip. And we're trying to make them a jump in one day and get down there before it gets dark. Uh, if we do make it there before dark, we can. We, uh, we know our way around, so we're probably pretty good on that. Anything to say? I'm just excited. Another trip behind us. At least this far. Thanks, guys, for watching and following us. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, SV the Cricket Anchor.